The first month of the 2024 legislative session has been jam-packed. From two special sessions to a ballot initiative bill passing the House, lawmakers have wasted no time. Now in the House, it's an all been under new leadership as well. As 12 News senior political correspondent Richard Lake sat down with the House Speaker Jason White about his first month leading the House. And Richard, what did he have to say? Yeah, Byron, well, it's been quite a whirlwind of a first month to this session. And, you know, between the two special sessions that have happened within this year's regular session and also a vote on a ballot initiative bill that came a little too close for comfort, Speaker White has seen quite a bit to begin his first term. There is no playbook for Speaker of the House. And we've hit the ground running from that very first day. The first major legislative action under his leadership came when a ballot initiative bill hit the House floor. The bill restricts, among other topics, any restoration of abortion rights to be put on the ballot. A point of contention that led to considerable debate on the floor and criticism outside the Capitol. Narrowly achieving the two-thirds vote threshold needed in the House, frustrations still linger over the bill's language. It was a close vote. I think after 50 or 60 years of living in a Roe v. Wade world, the pro-life movement, my colleagues who got elected and came here on a pro-life platform, um, they weren't willing to just all of a sudden throw that into the realm of ballot initiatives. Certainly, folks all over the country are very passionate about that issue, and I wouldn't want to make Mississippi, you know, their playground or their place for where, where other states and lots of money would just pour into our state on, an, on a uh, hot button issue like that. I think it's better approached through the legislative process. And so that's why that was added. Healthcare will be an intense focus for Speaker White as the session moves forward, specifically ensuring working Mississippians without health care. For those in Mississippi who are trying, who are working, who are engaged, um, they simply don't make enough money to pay for their own health care or their employer doesn't provide it because of the cost related to it, the expense related to it. Those are the people that I'm most interested in covering. We are looking at ways that we can actually enact and develop a state exchange. We intend for that to be a, a part of this equation, but we also intend for um, Medicaid um, on some level to be part of the equation. And in education, a change to the MAEP formula is still on the table. We want to examine that closely. Um, other states have gone to a more equitable funding model, and, and so that's what we're looking at, more equity among all school districts, particularly those um, poor school districts. Now, Speaker White did mention that while they will be taking a look at that MAEP formula, there are no plans to cut any public education funding for Mississippi schools. Reporting live from the Capitol, Richard Lake, 12 News.